another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey, and in this video, we're going to do practice topology one for IPv6. It's pretty simple. We've got three routers inside of GNS3, and you can see here it's sort of in a triangle formation, and we've got the links labeled from R1 to R2. It's 2001 colon 12 colon dead beef. So you'll see a lot of these weird, wacky things uh, in IPv6. You can do a lot of uh, interesting sayings. So from R1 to R3 is 2001 colon 13, dead beef. And from R2 to R3 is 2001 colon 23, dead beef. Everything is a slash 64, and we're going to be using the EUI 64 addresses. So let's go ahead and configure this. We're going to hit play and then hit the console window. Actually, I already have my routers set up. And you can see here that I'm in config. Well, I have the basic configuration set up. Okay, so you have to remember to enable IP unicast or IPv6 unicast routing. And that's going to let you play around with the RIPNG uh, and OSPF v3, anything with IPv6 routing protocols. So IPv6 unicast routing, that's going to go on all of your routers. And then we just need to set up your IP addresses. So you're going to go into int fast 00, IPv6 address, 2001, colon 12, colon dead beef, double colon slash 64. And then you're going to add in, you're going to do a space, EUI, hit tab, and it's going to complete it for you, EUI-64, and just hit enter. All right, we're going to hit the, actually do int fast 01. Hit the up arrow a couple times, and this is the link that's going from R1 to R3. All you have to do is change the dot 12, or the colon 12, to a colon 13. Everything else is the same, hit enter. And then you'll exit out and just do a show IPv6 int BR. And you'll see we've got our fast Ethernet 00. It's up and up. Well, I've already done the no shut on the interfaces. And we've got our 2001. This is our global. And this is our link local, the FE80. And we've got our fast Ethernet 01. The 2001 is our global, and our FE80 is our link local. So everything looks good right there. We're going to go over to R2. And I already have my host name and everything configured, line console 0, logging sickness, all that good stuff. Then we're going to remember to do IPv6 unicast routing. Then we're going to go into the interface, interface fast 00. This is pointing towards R1. We're going to do IPv6 address, 2001, colon 12, colon dead beef, double colon slash 64, space, EUI, hit tab, and it will complete it for you. Also, what you could have done is you could have copied the IPv6 address from router 1 and just pasted it into router 2. Hit enter right there. Now we're going to go int fast 01. And this is the link connecting from R2 to R3. Hit the up arrow a couple times. And we're going to change the colon 12 to a colon 23. And hit enter right there. I'm going to exit out of here and do a show IPv6 int BR. And you can see we've got our global and link local addresses and everything is up and up all right we're going to go to r3 r3 is very similar do the ipv6 unicast routing then we're going to go into int fast 00, zero. this is pointing from r3 to r1 do ipv6 address 2001 colon 13 colon dead beef double colon slash 64 EUI address, EUI-64. 
Then we're going to go into int fast01. This is the link going from R3 to R2. Hit the up arrow a couple times, and we're going to just change the colon 13 to a colon 23. Hit enter and we should be ready to rock and roll. Just do a quick verification, show IPv6 int br, and everything is good. Hey, let's see if we can ping from one side to the other. Uh, let's do on R2 to R3. So you can see here from R2 to R3, my address on R3 on the FAST01 side should start with 2123. 2123, there we go. And I'm actually going to ping the link local side. Whoops. So from R2, I'm going to do ping, question mark, IPv6. Actually, you don't need to do that. If you just paste in the IPv6 address, it will recognize that it's IPv6. We'll do a question mark, uh, let's do source, question mark, fast01. Okay, it looks like we have to type this whole thing out. So fast ethernet without a space, and then no space, put your interface number. And we have a success. Look at that, that's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can ping from R1. Okay, so R1 to R3. Ooh. So R1 to R3, it's going to be 2001 colon 13. So let's see what we got here. 2001 13, and we're going to ping the link local address right there. Ping, paste it in there, fast, Ethernet 01. And that's from R1. Hit enter, and we have a success. So we have point-to-point -point connectivity, and what you might want to do is do a write mem to save all your configurations. Write mem right there. And write mem on R2. Extract out your configurations and also save your project file, your DNS file, or .NET file. All right, so this was a quick and easy video about setting up practice IPv6 topology number one. It's three routers, pretty simple stuff. And then just make sure you can ping from point to point. In later videos, we're going to use this topology and set up RIPNG, OSPF uh, v3, all types of cool stuff. All right, thank you very much for watching.